To remove the gauge cluster, we need to remove the surroundings. Now, go ahead and remove the column cover. That will make things much easier. There's our four screws from underneath that make that remove. That just pops off and then go ahead and pop the hazard light switch out. Remove each and every control, plastic control out there. They just slide out. Once you've done that, go ahead and loosen this up a bit. Take the upper screws out. You don't need to remove it completely. Bend this a bit, which gives you access to this screw right in there. Right now it's removed. There is another screw on the driver's side, right over there. And that's it, that should come out. Obviously you'll need to disconnect the dimmer once that comes out and any other switches you might have. So after removing the surroundings, there are four screws holding the gauge in place three and there's one hidden down here after removing the screws we have to get access to the back and unplug the electronics and the speedo cable in order this to come up a trick to get the speedo out is to remove the vent on the outer part of the dashboard removing this will be able to get your hand access to that so that's a tip even when to put it back in after removing those four screws you want to tilt this outwards and disconnect the electrical points there's four of them and disconnect the speedo at the back after which this unit will just slide out after removing all the necessary bits okay so we have our cluster out of the truck and we're going to restore it what happened was that the timing bet reset button was sort of never put back the cover was never put back in place and we got a lot of dust in there sure we can pick up that but it's really dusty in there so what we're gonna do is open it up this quickly and just use a, a brush and some water and sort of clean up everything from in there this should be straightforward you got the tabs right over here Put a bit of pressure while you're unclipping the tabs and you should not have a problem to release it. Now we should go clean this, get this cleaned up and delicately restore this as well. So what I'm doing to gently remove, split the clear plastic from the backing is gently pry it along the way. Now as you can see there is glue at every bit, touch of glue. Now I don't know if this is standard but Do it slowly, all around the corner. You should have it disconnect from the together. Okay, so we got it completely dissampled. We had a little mishap right over here at the last bit. Uh, that won't show because there's going to be the dashboard anyways in inwards so we're not really concerned about that most important the border is complete so since we have this out of place we can get into cleaning it since there's no electronics there's no worry about getting water anywhere just want to scrub and everything okay got everything scrubbed get our clean paper towel give it another wipe just 
wipe down everything. Making sure, keep on going through the process, just making sure we don't get any dirt. And if there's any discoloration or anything, we should apply some black trim. Okay, so that's looking much better now. We'll, we'll refine that later. So let's put this to a side. Same thing goes to this piece. Basic water. Now I'm just quickly doing this for camera, but you get the idea. We'll just refine this later on. So that's on the side as well. Now this. You can see there's a bit dust inside, build up, not that much. What we're gonna do is instead of using water, we're just gonna use a brush. And gently go through it. For this bit, we might get a paper towel and just wipe it. For the needles, I prefer using a brush. If that happens, just gently reset it to zero. All the needles are freely movable, except the fuel. So don't touch the fuel. As you see, it's already looking much better. Now for the mileage resetter, uh, it's quite discolored. We've tried to clean it, we cannot bring it back. Um, does, doesn't show that bad on camera, but it does in real life. Yep, so what we're gonna do is simple spray can solution to bring it all back to a black. Now we just literally pin th paper through that and that is sealed and paint won't go through. Okay, so while we have this out and we cleaned it, we noticed that it's pretty scratched up. That's not dust from any side. So we're gonna try to remove that by using some toothpaste. And hopefully we see that it will work. Just rub it in a circular motion. Wipe it off. With a clean cloth. We're gonna do that for the whole area and let's see how it comes out. The idea behind this is that the toothpaste has sort of some very fine granules to get out stains in your teeth and that would be enough for the plastic not to show any scratches. Now if it's really bad what you do then in that case is get some fine sandpaper but we really don't want to get into that position. Okay let's see how we are. Definitely looking better, not there yet. Could be that there is some as well on the other end. So we'll keep on doing that until we get it perfect. So while we have the cluster out, we would want to clean the connections. As you can see, these are not being used, so and you can see they get really dark. That means they most probably are prone not to have any contact. In fact, we have a problem with the temperature gauge and all that and we started scratching off the contacts to make uh, contact with the connectors and we'll do so. So basically all you do is get a rubber and just start slowly removing that build up. Now this might take forever. Um, another option is to get a flat screwdriver and just scrape that. Um, that's quite fast there. Just be careful you don't go overboard and short the circuit. 
Another thing we'll be doing is that these needles used to be orange. So we're going to get an orange permanent marker. And just color them back in. They will remain transparent, but they will have color like the factory. Okay. And that looks much better. This is how it looked before, and this is now, all cleaned up and functioning properly. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe if you found this useful. Take care.